Thank you for listening to this Podcast One production. Now available on Apple Podcasts, Podcast One, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts. You may have heard me talk about Bird Nutrition before. My family and I started Burt Nutrition because of our collective passion for health and wellness and to help people lose weight and just feel better about themselves. Who doesn't want to feel better about themselves? So right now, I'm just going to take a minute to talk to you about our staple product, our grass-fed whey protein that's available at BurtNutrition.com. We created a high-quality, healthy, pure protein supplement without an ingredient list full of junk. Our grass-fed whey protein is all-natural, hormone-free, It has the nutritional components your body needs to build muscle and lose weight. So stop buying just any protein powder on the shelf, especially if it has a ton of ingredients you can't read. Our grass-fed whey protein is low-carb, naturally sweetened with stevia, and has 23 grams of power-packed protein in every scoop, and it tastes amazing. Whether you're looking for a nutritious snack or a meal replacement with one of our awesome shake recipes, which include apple pie, pumpkin spice, and cinnamon roll, just to name a few, or you just want to include more protein in your diet, which we all need, try our great-tasting grass-fed whey protein. We have vanilla and we have chocolate, and it's awesome. Use the code SCJ15 for 15% off right now at BurtonNutrition.com. Use the code SCJ15 for 15% off today. That's awesome. That's awesome. 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 Oh, dude, that's awesome. Awesome. That's really awesome. Awesome. That's That's awesome. awesome. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. With Stephen Bradford. Stevie B! Yo, what's going on, Bradford? Well, hello, sir. Hi, how are you today, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. Um, <laughs> I'm you? excited, man, you because, uh, you know, being part of the entertainment industry is, is, a real, is a real privilege. And one of those privileges is, like, meeting people that maybe when you were younger you really admired. And now you're kind of in that world. And totally. one, of my, one of my favorite shows as a kid certainly was family ties one of mine too and uh so i've always admired this guy and um we're he's got a new movie coming out he not only was he the dad on family ties but he's been part of this franchise this tremors franchise for 30 years and uh they have a new uh, they have a new uh, number seven coming out and you know what it was funny steve we just started talking to him we didn't <laughs> we just started talking and then i just kind of pushed record because i like i, know. I, I was i was hoping to finally press record i didn't want to miss anything and we started talking uh he, he's good friends as you'll hear with um one of our directors at gh a guy named bill adele and so we kind of got into that and then it so um you, we will be joining in progress our right. conversation with michael gross gross it's, it, first of all hold on you said it. Family Ties, I think, was a big part of so many people's lives. Absolutely. At that time. A huge show. Every kid wanted to be Alex B. Keaton. Yes. I mean, it was great, right? And then he gets right. back to the future, and he blows up. And But everyone knows Michael Gross, and uh, he's had a an illustrious career. He has 125 done... credits on IMDb. 125 credits. So, like Bradford said, you get to join us in progress with Michael Gross. I was – I've been – on and off there for 25 years so oh. i've known bill that long <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know right oh. it's crazy it, yeah crazy. and i have done some of his readings you know because he 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 writes and then play writing i've done some yeah. of those too yeah. yeah 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 so it's so it's always fun to to learn who's in in his friend circle because uh, yeah 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 some great yeah, he's been there. there a long time i think he's the really the only one of us who's had such incredibly steady work. I mean, uh, I guess, I mean, I don't have anything like steady. I've been a part-time worker for 50 years. <laughs> right. But, Amazing. um, but, uh, I mean, if you, uh, family ties, yes, that was seven years. And of course, tremors is 30 years off and on. Right. But, um, but n- n- nothing like bill. I've always sure. said if I, if I had wanted steady work, I would have done something else for a living. <laughs> yeah, that's right. true. That's right. I know we, we do get spoiled on on a soap opera because to be I don't able know, to... I, I don't know how, I, I'll tell you I um I, I, are we are we in the middle of the interview now have you started well we're we're recording so yeah we're, 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 we're I mean we're happy fine. to do a we're, we're happy to no, give you the, 
that's fine with throat, me. We, we were that's planning on giving you a full throated intro. No, that's um, fine. We don't need we don't need a full throated intro. Uh, I guess we're <laughs> recording, and that's good. Uh, you know, I did. Um, <laughs> the Young and the Restless for about four or five months. Yes, I yes. saw that. And it was it was the most bizarre experience. I was I was not suited for it. Let's just put it that way. Because I was accustomed to I, I, I learned some valuable things from it. Uh but I was accustomed to more rehearsal. Time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Time. <laughs> yes. And um and I was at, and it was a totally new character who was being introduced. So of sort, so of course I'm trying to establish this character and find out, okay, wh- what is he about and what drives him? And and speaking of driving things, I think I ultimately drove the producers crazy. <laughs> we, we, yeah, they they were like, crazy. can we get, can we move him off the show as quickly as possible because he really doesn't get it. You know, I would, I would, I would have an episode and I'd walk in and say, you know, um, this guy was not suicidal yesterday. Why is he suicidal today? You know, things like that. It was like, actually ask questions. That question is (laughs) totally inappropriate, Mr. Gross. Just be suicidal. You know, (laughs) Uh, I mean, I ultimately drove them. I think they're still taking Prozac as a result (laughs) of my appearance on The Young and the Restless. Because I would say, uh, but this doesn't make sense. And they went, that's not important. And I'll tell you what I did learn, uh, which was commitment. Mm. Uh, that is to say, it is a little like, I I discovered it's a little like working in improv. Somebody hands you an imaginary baseball you can't say oh thanks for handing me the watermelon no it's a baseball you have to accept it as a baseball and so i ultimately felt that um doing that work for me was a study in it's like improvisation you have to accept the givens however crazy they may seem to you or have no bearing on what you were the day before you just Oh, that's what I am today. It's a baseball, not a watermelon. Yeah. And so that was that was useful, I think, learning learning that. And rather rather late in my career, it was like improvisation. Yeah, it, it my, is a lesson in presence in a way. Right. Because it is it, it's where you are, who you are. Total acceptance. Is. Yes, total yeah. acceptance in the circumstances without question. Yeah. Uh so I think um It'll be very helpful if I'm ever in a hostage situation sometime. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I had a nice time and I, and I'm still, uh, I've st- still been, you know, know some of the people there and keep in touch loosely with some of them. But I think I was, I was unsuited for that. You know, I'm, you know, I was a theater person who was used to um, rehearsal rehearsal you know for, for the little uh, things and then while i was there they they started giving out um um i was going to say condoms but that's not it no, they, <laughs> they, 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 well, they should they, they should have done that earlier for sure yeah, right, they should they started giving out um uh these memos uh which same number of syllables as condoms yep uh, i can see where you went memos to. condoms yeah i could make the mistake <laughs> uh, they start giving out memos saying, oh, we can only do one take. We don't have time for more than one take. And I'm going, uh, well, what if my arm op- ab- gets caught? I'm sorry, there's a phone up. Phone oh, call. that's that's Young and the Restless calling right now. <laughs> they are. They, they want me back. <laughs> <laughs> You're not suicidal anymore. <laughs> so, right, right. <laughs> so, oh. Message may come through any second. I'm that's, sorry. I'm not accustomed to this. I forgot to turn off the phone. Um, so they uh, they started handing out memos saying, "Oh, we can only have one one take. We really don't have time for any more than one take." And it's like, well, I can be prepared, but what if like my arm gets caught in a massive machine and gets cut off? We can use it. We can adapt it. <laughs> that's just the way this right. character is today. Okay. So was so, the memo addressed to the entire? 
company, oh, but yeah, probably not just, just, for, just, not for you. just not just for me. <laughs> well, the memo I got was don't ask questions. 